Hi everyone, this is Ellie Cakes, and today I am going to read a book by Hans de Beer called The Little Polar Bear. Now this was one of my children's favourite books when they were little, so I'm going to enjoy reading this. Let's open it up and see what's inside. It's about a little polar bear called Lars. Lars, the little polar bear, lived in the North Pole. Today he was going to the sea for the first time. His father taught him how to swim and catch fish there. That night they had a tasty fish for supper. Yummy. Look, and he's learning how to fish. Then they each made a big pile of snow to protect themselves from the wind while they slept. But during the night the ice began to crack apart. Look, oh no! When Lars woke up he was all alone in the middle of the sea. It was getting warmer and warmer and his piece of ice was getting smaller and smaller. <gasps> Poor Lars! Then a storm blew up. Oh my goodness! He really isn't having a very good day, is he? Luckily, a big barrel drifted by. Lars climbed on and clung to it tightly as he was tossed by the waves. Oh, look at him! Poor little thing! When the storm died down, he saw land ahead, but not any snow or ice. Everything was green. <gasps> I wonder what's going to happen. Sorry about this. That was one of my children, I think. Look at what's happened. It is a hippo. Suddenly a huge animal jumped out of the water. Hello, it said. I'm Henry the hippo. Who are you? I'm Lars, the little polar bear. I'm lost and I I want to go home, he, Lars replied. I'm not surprised. Poor little love. Look at those trees, aren't they great? I like that. That's when the, the, all the soil on the roots has washed away. I'll help you, said Henry, but we'll have to go to the other side of the island to see Samson the whale. <gasps> Lars was amazed by all the strange plants and animals they saw on their way. It was so different from where he lived. Look, there's a chameleon and a butterfly. Look at that beautiful flower. Look at his little face. He is in awe of what's going on. Henry carried Lars on his back down the river to the sea. Samson, he called. Will you take my little friend back to the North Pole? Of course, said Samson. Climb on my back, little polar bear. And they set off. Henry waved goodbye. Oh, look, there's Henry. And there's Lars on the back of Samson. I wonder if he's going to have a safe journey. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Henry was so sorry to see Lars go. When the first icebergs came into view, there was Lars's father. So happy to see his little Lars again. There he is. Look, he's probably been very, very worried. Lars and his father thanked Samson and then headed home. Along the way, Lars told his father all about his exciting adventure. And that's the end. And there he is, pottering home on his dad's back. Good night, everyone.